Hey everybody, this is Odd of Holton. Well, yesterday Random DC posted a video called We Have a Problem. And as an owner of a Nintendo Wii, I thought I should make a video response. Yeah. The Wii's been getting a lot of negati negativity and a lot of complaints from longtime fans because well, there's just not enough games for it. I mean we I mean I mean, we don't have very many games for for a Wii. I mean, I mean it's like Mario, Link. I can't really think of much. I mean, Mario is the thing that keeps Nintendo like, like l alive and running. But I mean, it's kind of repetitive if he has to rescue the princess over and over and over and over and over. Doesn't anybody get sick of that sometimes? I mean, Random DC asks, what games have Princess Peach been kidnapped? Um, <clears throat> the game she's been kidnapped in are <clears throat> the following. Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario World, Hotel Mario, the CDI, the one that everyone makes YouTube poop from. Um... There's Super Mario 64, the first Nintendo game. Uh, Super Mario role-playing game. The princess was kidnapped at the beginning of the game, as I read on the internet. She was kidnapped by Bowser's at the beginning of the game. Paper Mario, Super Mario Sunshine. Paper Mario, the Thousand Door. So that's ten so far. Super Mario Brothers. New Super Mario Brothers, I meant to say, for DS. Super Paper Mario and Super Mario Galaxy. So that, and of course they're making Mario and Luigi free for the DS. So, 14 games so far. Well, I'm not sure about Mario and Luigi free, but I'm not sure about that one yet. Maybe we still haven't gotten much on it. It'll probably get talked a bit more. Um, but the princess isn't the only character I I noticed who got kidnapped. Mario got kidnapped by Bowser I, I think two times. Uh, Mario is missing the DOS, which I'm not even sure what it is. Maybe someone who, a long time Nintendo fan, would probably know that, but I'm not sure. And Super Princess Peach. Oh, Mario is missing as well, like an educational game, but still technically counts. And Super Princess Peach for the DS. So, yeah. Can you imagine? No matter how many times. And, and, and the other thing I've noticed Nintendo do is every year they go re for every new console they reissue the old classic games over and over and over for download. It, it's not a problem. It's just it kind of gets repetitive. I mean, if they rebrand it under the same name, it's it's kind of like how you buy a. Um, it's kind of like buying a. I'm not really sure how you can relate to it, but it's kind of like buying the same thing again. It's like buying something you already have just because of it's a different title or something. It's kind of like getting conned. Mario and Sonic, however, have been able to make it on by making different concepts. I mean, there's the all the Mega Man series, uh, the at the at ZX, the EXC, the Star Force, a lot of them, and Sonic's uh, and and, and Sonic Unleashed. I mean, he's a werewolf now. Uh, that is probably interesting. I think I'll probably get that game because it looks pretty interesting. Nintendo's created a new game called Captain Rainbow, which to me it looks like a Captain Falcon at a gay pride parade. Um, yeah. Captain Falcon has different characters from certain games. Um, Birdo from Super Mario Brothers 2 is in the uh, in this in and also Mappo the robot jailer from Gift Pia um yeah it's never made it past Japan after Japan it never got anywhere and And a, cu a couple of characters from different, uh, 
uh, Nintendo series. Most of them are like minor characters. I think Birdo is probably the most uh, remembered character. I, I I think we could probably say in the game. They haven't announced if when it's coming to North America or Europe. All I know is it's already out in Japan. Not sure, but the only review I've ever seen that's been reviewed is from Fumatsu Magazine, and they give it a 31 out of 40. So, sounds like it might be a good game. And I think they may do an anime. I'm not sure. It just says the Captain Rainbow official website. What's that? Yeah. I'm not sure. Maybe it's an anime, a manga. I'm not really sure. I just don't have the time to look at it right now. But, yeah. I mean, Nintendo started off as a game company in Japan. They were like car games, and, and, the, and when the video game era came out, they really took it well. I mean, I see certain characters uh, get their own spin-offs, like Luigi gets his own spin-off, and Luigi's Mansion, and Yoshi gets Yoshi Island, and Prin the princess gets her own game in Super Princess Peach, but, but, why hasn't Bowser got his own game? I mean, a, a good game for him would be Bowser's, uh, I mean, what Bowser has to do is Bowser, maybe, like, you have to kidnap the princess. Maybe that's the point of the game, and, and that, when you do, everything just goes, maybe it's like a prequel to every Mario game they've ever made, so, that, that's an interesting concept. If I had to see some games for the they should have made for the Wii, I mean instead of making them as DS games, because I don't have a DS. Um, the Kirby game looked pretty good. Oh, and Transformers animated also. It actually looks much better than the movie game. I would have to say. Not sure. And Armadas looks good, the Armada game, but yeah, I I never picked it up. Uh, yeah. So what I like to see for the Wii is some more interesting games. I mean, I mean Super Mar Super Mario the Super Mario Sluggers game. Oh yeah, that 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 game is interesting me. I think I'm gonna get it. I'm. It looks pretty good. Cause one of my friends, my friends at school, told me that it's a pretty good game, so I might get it also. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So the Times Princess has been kidnapped. Thirteen. Um, let's just hope that Nintendo has something new in store soon. So this is Audible with a response to Random DCE's. Uh, we have a problem. Signing out. And before I do, I just like to point out that I think the reason why it's been getting negativity is because of the a lot of the old fans. Like, like Transformer fans or old comic book fans like any kind of old fandom they will complain about anything new I mean they'll, they'll say this is not how you do it right and such I think it's the fans they're actually abandoning Nintendo not Nintendo abandoning the fans they think that Nintendo's doing it but really they're doing it because they just can't wait be patient enough for some games I'm gonna get hate mail for that so what but nobody really watches me anyway so well this is Audible signing out saying we have a problem <laughs>